20 years from now, when I say the name Kobe Bryant, what will be your strongest memory? I'm going to remember how the helicopter crash. That will be first in my mind. It's to see a young person taken away uh, this early, particularly when they were just blossoming in their post-career life, and for him to die uh, in service to his daughter, with his daughter, and his daughter passing away. It, it's one of, because like, Michael Jackson dies, I really don't think about how he died. I think about his music and the art and all of that. Uh, but this is kind of like Tupac dying. Mm. I think about him getting killed in Vegas. That's the first thing I think about. And with, with Kobe, the first thing I'm, the helicopter crash and just the tragic way his life ended well before he was done creating his legacy. Yeah, um, I, I, mine is twofold because they both hit me in different phases of my life, but they both hit me hard. One is the fact, like you said, the finality. He didn't get to live his life. And I know a lot of people out there like, he's Kobe Bryant, he's an icon, we saw him on the basketball court. I'm not talking about that. I'm talking about live his life. That was the sacrifice. That was to build into who he was and greatness to now give that in baton to his wife and his kids, his daughters, and then to spread his love throughout the family to let that grow generational wealth beyond just riches. He ain't get a chance to do that fully because of the commitment. This is my second point. Seeing Kobe when he first got to Los Angeles and that commitment that was met with resistance, met with really like resentment because he was so committed so fast that other players, peers, teammates, media was like, this kid is on one. Like, relax, grow into the role of being great. Not just saying, I am great and I'm going to show you in every single way. So you saw it happen, 180s in his person, personal life and the way he socialized, Kobe went all in. It wasn't just the hours in the gym, it was the mindset of my craft is most important. Very few, if any athletes, I've, I remember putting their craft that high on the pedestal like he did. Yeah, you know, I have so many thoughts. It still seems like an unreal moment every time I think about this. This is definitely a moment that I'll remember where I was exactly at when, you know, I received the call and people started notifying me and my phone started ringing. You know, I'll have always have an everlasting memory of Kobe Bryant, his rookie year, when he shot those air balls versus the Utah Jazz. And I saw a young man then who was able to overcome his fears and walk into this fear of not knowing whether he's gonna be successful or not. And that ever that had a, a moment for us because as an athlete, you have to overcome so many things. And he walked into it. He walked into it as a young player. He did it as a player when he was performing. And then you saw how he made that transition once the air came out of the ball. Mm -hmm. And this young man had so much going not only for himself on the court, off the court, but he was able to attack those. And he attacked it with a relentless effort that I think all former athletes, but people in general, because every life is about making transitions. And you saw how he was making transitions from one phase of his life to another. And we watched this young man grow up as 18, you know, from when he came in the league as 18 until when he retired in the game. And so many, you know, we always refer to him in the basketball family as the middle child because your father grew up watching Kobe Bryant, and you grew up as a kid watching him, and he was always in the middle. For 20 years, he played in the NBA. Unreal. Darnell, I wanted to give you a chance to, what are, your th what are you gonna remember? Yeah, for me, man, uh, obviously the basketball court kind of spoke for itself. So for me, it's his mindset. As you, we all, we call, call it the mama mentality. No matter what his focus was, whether it was on the court, whether it was coaching his girls, whether it was writing children's books, he, he's coming at it full force, 110 miles per hour, and that that mentality is something we all can can live by. No matter what your profession is, no matter what you do on a day to day basis, going 100 percent in whatever your your focus or your dream is, something I think we can all attest to. So, all right, I'm speaking in real time, so I want people to be forgiving if I misspeak here. But I was literally just thinking about a tragedy and people being taken out before their legacies are finished, and. So I'm going to analogize, or, or the dichotomy of that is, JFK, I think of his assassination. Mm. Martin Luther King, I think of his accomplishments. Mm. Both of them assassinated, tragically, well before their time was up. Mm. But I think about MLK's accomplishments, I think about JFK's tragic death. It's interesting. I can see how that plays mentally with you, because 
like you said, Kobe being a middle child, a lot of us were raised as Kobe yes. was our guy. And then no matter how much you were consumed with his basketball greatness and then you saw his transition, you're like, oh, I think the highlights are in front of him, not behind him. And then this as a finality, it's so abrupt before his time. And it, it really reminds everyone, this moment is all you got. And I think Kobe and his greatness, I was looking forward to him shining greater light on the athlete being more than right. an athlete without having to be a T-shirt or a mantra. It's just watch this. Everything I do is going to be gold. And he didn't get that chance. Yeah, I mean, he was the one player that all of the old guys, our generation, respected him. Mm -hmm. And then you can see the love and how he connected with the young players, how they all looked up to him. Revered. Yeah. He, we revered him. And he had this... He was right in the middle, you know, the, the Jordans and the LeBrons. Yeah, and yeah. he was right there, and he was the, he kind of mended the glue, the glue for all of us. Thanks for watching. Subscribe here to get the latest from the show, and be sure to check out more of the best clips from Speak for Yourself, or go watch a few segments from our other shows on FS1.